When Big La Katusha gathered for their training camp in Mallorca at the end of January, few could have imagined what would happen next. With racing suspended across the world and the announcement of both title sponsors withholding funding, the team now sit in a precarious position. Before this news came to light, InCycle's Rob Hatch spoke with riders Leia Thomas and Sophie Wright on life in lockdown and the uncertain future for women's cycling. Hey Leia, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Not too bad, thank you, considering. Um, whereabouts are you? Um, I'm in a small town called Boulder Creek, which is right outside the Bay Area in California. And are you normally there or are you sometimes in Europe, given the fact that I suppose we should have been racing in Europe now? Yeah, normally right now I'd be in Europe. Um, I'm kind of in a point of transition between California and Europe. I would say most of the year I'd be in Europe. I was planning on being there all the way through October. So all of this is a little bit of a surprise, um, but I'm really glad to be home and close to my friends and family. So we're heading out on our bike ride. Um, Unfortunately, it's still overcast, but I wanted to take you guys on my absolute favorite loop, uh, which is a road around here called 236. So hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. I ride it maybe four times a week. <laughs> See you later. We're really fortunate, actually. Like, so I flew home from Spain. I literally got I bought my ticket and was on a plane within a couple hours. Like it was totally unexpected that I was coming home. And I landed and I got the text message of like no riding outside in Spain. And I had like, I have a little apartment and it was just gonna be me in that apartment. And I was like, oh my goodness, thank goodness I'm not there by myself. Like I would be, re I'd be really, really hard to be in a foreign country all by yourself for that long with so much, you know, thrown up in the air. Where I live, we are allowed to ride outside, um, either by ourselves or with whoever we live with. Um, so I'm super fortunate with that. Um, that said, there were so many people going outside um, that they started to shut down the parking lots and one by one counties have been closing their trails. So um, cycling on the road is okay, but there's no more mountain biking or um, hiking outside on the trails. So we're in uh, Big Basin State Park, which is beautiful park with all these river trees and um, for now um, as of a couple days ago it's closed to the public so um, hopefully in the future when it's open again when all this is passed I can show you some of the awesome trails that are back that way. Yeah I'm really fortunate I really feel for everyone who um, has had to do all of this alone and had to do this all inside so um, I wish them the best and um, yeah hopefully we can all get through this together. Thanks so much for having me this is great. Thank you, and I hope you see it back in the big kit soon and, and winning some races. Yes, me too. <laughs> hey Sophie, how's it going? Hi Rob, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Really enjoying this weather, but come in for a bit of shade now. <laughs> Where do you find yourself? Where is it totally tropical at the minute? <laughs> well, I'm in tropical Norwich, actually. Um, yeah, I live about 20 miles from the coast. Um, so it's pretty tropical here. Well, strange weather, surreal situation. Um, how has it felt these past few weeks? Yeah, it's, it has been really weird. Um, kind of like, of course, I'm going out on my bike nearly every day, um, but I'm kind of going out and it's like I'm training and it's like, hmm. I'm, what am I training for? <laughs> so I have had to, like I've spoken to my coach and we've kind of just um, taken a bit, just a step back really and kind of thinking that I don't need to be doing any kind of race specific efforts and stuff at the moment at all because we don't know when the next race is for the foreseeable future. Tokyo 2020 might have been a bit early for someone like me being so young, but now that it's in 2021, um, Maybe I get more of a chance, but to be honest, there are so many good Brits who could be in with a chance. So, um, so we'll see what happens. And the thing is like, there's lots of, there's lots more opportunities. Um, so I try not to put like too much pressure on myself, um, because I am still young and still kind of learning, learning the craft really of the road racing. Cause it's much more, much more to just the kind of 
physical and mental side of the sport it's just it's so tactical and you've just got to you've got to be so kind of clever uh and saving your energy and yeah so yeah we'll see um but there's always another four years well i hope that between now and next summer you'll be able to get back on the bike competitively get some help for some team wins maybe even get your own race win as well and we hope that there's lots more racing to come this season and for now thanks for talking to us yeah no worries it's been really good to talk to you um and yeah i hope we do get back racing soon because that's what we live and train for. That dream job. Best job in the world, remember.